Today, Janelle and myself will be boarding Disney's Galactic Star Cruiser, an ultimate immersive experience for Star Wars fans who want to feel like they're a part of the adventures of a galaxy far, far away. This has been a long time planning for Disney as the Galactic Star Cruiser has been in the works for over seven years now, and now we get to see what it's like inside the Halcyon. But one thing we really want to see is the delicious drinks and foods, because after all, we're foodies. Let me just say that we're very excited to be here, but very nervous as well, since we did spend a lot of money on this trip, and we're hoping to get the best experience for the money that we paid. With awesome experiences like the lightsaber training and hopping on board the bridge to fight off TIE Fighters, I mean, who knows? We might actually like this after all. Only time will tell, but we can't wait to explore this ship with you, so why don't you join us on this magic journey? Like everyone's getting out of their car. We just made it to the Galactic Star Cruiser. Yes, let's go. All right, we got our stuff. You got it? I got it. There we go. We're at the Galactic Star Cruiser. It looks like they're going to start checking everyone over there. This is actually quite exciting. Janelle and I are both like, we're, we're over the moon right now. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> we have to put our belts on. So when you first get here, they take your luggage and they're probably going to take it into your room. This These are so exclusive cool. only to the Galactic Star Cruiser. <laughs> wow. This is for me. Thank you. Okay, so inside this black bag they give you, when you first arrive, they give you a data pad. Now when you get to the Galactic Star Cruiser, they will be giving you a data pad and this will be very important along your cruise. Also, what's really neat is you'll be getting yourself a magic band that's exclusive only to the Galactic Star Cruiser. Now remember that your cargo is also going to be taken into your cabin, so that's kind of a load off of you. <laughs> and that's a good thing. We're about to go through. Look at this. So this hallway is like, it's a cement hallway. It kind of looks like, like some futuristic airport. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool, right? <laughs> the Chandrilla Starline logo right there. Very cool. So we're going to see something on the screen here that tells us about the Galactic alive, Star Cruiser before so we hop on. Has a great Welcome to Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. We are excited to welcome you aboard to begin your fully immersive experience. Yeah! Now I'm not going to lie. At this point, I was just too excited to get on the launch pod oh. and go straight to the Halcyon. And I can tell Janelle felt the same way too. Yeah, what? Well, <laughs> oh. We are on the Halcyon. <laughs> I'm lost for words, guys. Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure to welcome you aboard the Halcyon. Are we excited for our voyage? We are. We're truly excited. Stepping into the atrium, I just didn't know what to expect. I was lost for words. But let me tell you, the only thing I wish is that it was a little bit bigger, but aside from that, it just looks really cool. That's Gaia. But this time we decided to... We don't say that company name around. Oh no! Listen, no, Star Tours is going to be actually... The house team used to fly to Endor. It was one of the locations we used to, but Star Tours ended up undercutting our business a little bit. We soon found out that our cabin was actually all the way at the end of deck four, but that's all right, because in the end, we just want to find out what's inside these cabins. We can't wait to see what's inside. Yeah, see you at muster you. at 4 p.m., all right? Oh, and enjoy the so food. Much, thank you very much, Seth. My honor. Hello, and welcome aboard. Hi. Is now a good time to discuss your journey? Yes. What brings you to our treasured ship? Amazing adventure and food. Our selection is quite astounding, and during your excursion to Batu, may I recommend a local delicacy, the Ronto Wrap. Wow, it's pretty impressive to come into your cabin and have a logistic droid that actually talks back to you. 
That is quite impressive. So this is the cabin, guys. It's kind of like a 3D effect here. Ooh. It's got like a curved display, which is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Is it comfortable? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I love it. It's really, it's actually, I was expecting smaller, but it's actually kind of spacious. If you look at the pictures online, there's a lot of people sharing photos and it does seem a little smaller in pictures, but in person, so it's a little three. bigger. <laughs> you feel uh, comfortable? Actually, yeah. Actually, I do. It's just these little, like, firm. But they give you like a nice little blanket, a pillow. They give you like a, come on. Come I don't on. think I'm gonna fit up there. <laughs> <laughs> here, I'll let them up here with me. Yoink. So they have like a pillow, they have a comforter. They also have, let's see, I think it's like a light. Oh, there you go. So it's a little night light. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. So you got a little night light. You can close that. Pretty spacious. Uh, so far, I mean, this is supposed to be a luxury liner, so I get it. It's cool. This is pretty pricey stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine like a family having a lot of fun in here. You gotta test every mattress. You gotta test every bed. Come on. It's true. So here's the roof tour of a healthy young cabin. Come on in. I was really nervous about the cabins because I've been hearing they're quite small, but in person, they're actually quite spacious. My right, you have this beautiful mirror. It has like beautiful lighting, I think. You can do your makeup here. You can just do whatever you want. There's a water bottle which you can refill over by the atrium. So that's pretty nice. On my left, there's a restroom. Want to go in here? Sure. So right here you have your sink, obviously. You have some towels. You can turn on and off the light. You can just have a dent or all of them like this. You have your soaps, your hand soap they're all h2o plus products and then you have your body lotion over here and you have a little tin i have no idea what this is but let's see that was hot chocolate at first <laughs> <laughs> oh it's just a uh, face mask fun so i have a they call it a thermal blower here but it's a hair dryer so inside your standard hair dryer. Over here you have the toilet, some tissues, it's one of those square toilets, more towels, toilet paper, toilet paper, full length mirror. Hey yo! Hi! <laughs> you go in the shower, you also have some shampoo, body wash and conditioner. I'm not gonna turn this off because I'm in here right now. Then in here it's more like a there's a shower head on top, kind of get that like rainfall shower. You also have this little one right here. You can just go shh. Wash off. You have a little washcloth here. It's pretty spacious. Like it's really. Yeah, a lot of room in here. <laughs> this is your room. No. <laughs> the frosted door. Let's get to the closet now. Come on. So in here you have two closets. One is a bunch of like storage. Come on, see. <laughs> so you have your uh, safe here. You have a little small fridge. You can put like little like drinks there, snacks if you like. More storage on top. There you go. You open up these two. You have droves. Oh, I think our luggage is here. <laughs> Thank you. Quarters. Here you are. It's nice here. We only bought two bags. Make these camera bag and our little like essentials like our clothes and stuff. Get your little robes which are really like comfortable like those. And you have a little like comforter because there is an extra bed over there. I'll show you later. And another pillow here. You have some coat hangers. Oh, oh. sorry. <laughs> I know these ones are like <laughs> like close to your head, but you also have this. It's really cool actually. You have um, a logistics droid who helps you out your journey. You scan your little let's press that. <laughs> of course. Best journey. Bye. It's really sweet, but you can also control your AC here too. So we're gonna see if we can control it. I think that's that's the lowest it can go then. 68. 68 degrees. So we'll leave it there because I kinda like that temperature. It feels really nice. And then on my left you have the TV. It shows you a nice little map. We haven't turned that on yet, so see so what kind of channels they give us. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can pull this down because it is oh, there we go. 
Instead, we have like a friend staying over. <laughs> we do have that option. So for people who have families uh, that are, you know, maybe five or six people here, yes. maybe two people on the bed, uh, maybe a kid here, another kid there. That's what? One, two, three, four, and five. So you could have five people in here. Yeah. Comfortable. Not too bad. Let's close this up because I don't think we need this extra bed. <laughs> How do you open this? There you go. Yeah, I don't want to miss my hair. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, look, I can go. This is six feet. There you go. I mean, I don't think you sleep like that, though. I think you usually sleep fetal position. You sleep fetal position? Extending. Yeah. Uh, this is if you're six feet. Now, looking at it in person, they're kind of pretty spacious. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> so you're kind of immersed in this Star Wars fantasy for people who are huge Star Wars fans. They're going to love this, um, but it is a very pricey thing to pay. $5,000, some people even $6,000. Um, but I mean, if you're staying with your friend, $2,400 doesn't seem all too bad, especially since you're staying here for two nights. It's, it's a Star Wars experience. It's something you probably won't experience anywhere else. And uh, I mean, it just really depends on you. It really depends how big of a Star Wars fan you are because if you're not, then maybe you might not like this. But uh, if you're a huge Star Wars fan, this might be worth it. And I've never seen anything like this before. Now, do I wish they did a few things to make this look a little bit more Star Wars? Heck yeah. It feels like something out of like Star Wars, but not Star Wars, you know what I mean? It's like the new version of Star Wars. And I'm used to original trilogy, so with the original trilogy, which is something that's in my heart, when you walk into spaceships, you see a different style. It's more gritty, and I like this. It's a luxury line, so that's what they're going for. It's supposed to feel like a luxury cruise, star cruiser. But for some people, it might not be okay. It might be really plain. But for other people, this might be really cool. And walking in, there's a lot of great things you can do here, like talking to the logistics droid. That's insane. I've never ever seen that. Coming here and looking outside into a star field. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think? Do you guys think you would stay here? Would you not? Uh, do you think Disney should calibrate their prices? And if they do calibrate their prices, what do you think the price should be? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Just imagine being able to go to sleep with something like this right next to you. It's really cool. You're looking out into the stars on the Galactic Star Cruiser and I can't believe we're here. This is like, <laughs> this is crazy. A nice delicacy. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Let's close this up. Cheers. Cheers. This water. This you know what reminds me of? <laughs> Have you seen The Office? Hmm. And they get like the tint, like the saber. Oh yeah, with the orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> it hits you right in the fillings. All right, so we're gonna head outside right now and join the festivities. Let's go. Let's go. We have our data pads. Right now we're gonna head over to the Ship Monster. That starts at four o'clock. Come on. So weird. Just walking through like the Halcyon. Yeah. Here we go. We got our data pads. We're gonna head over to the Ship Monster. So it's at four. Right now, I thought that was my watch. <laughs> Right now, I think it's like 3.40. Oh, here we are. <laughs> Get some water. They actually provide it for you here. You have chilled sparkling water, you have chilled flat water, and you have ambient flat water. Wow. What does that mean? It's room temperature. <laughs> <laughs> Since we were still a few minutes wow. away from the muster, we decided to go that. check out the bridge and do a little exploring. Man, is this place cool. I can't go into light speed yet. <laughs> <laughs> the controls are locked, but that's because the captain of the ship probably doesn't want us hitting light speed every 10 minutes. <laughs> Who knows where we'll end up if we keep doing that. <laughs> now, right now we're in the control room of the Halcyon. I'm pretty sure once this whole thing starts up, this place is gonna come to life. From one to four, they have lunch. I'm a bit hungry, it's 3.40, so I think we have 20 minutes to make it, so let's try, let's come on. Oh, we're so happy to have you on board. So it says on deck four is where we get lunch. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to find the deck four. Let's go. So we're on deck six. We have to get to deck four. Oh no! <laughs> These are some pretty cool looking elevators. There you go. Really unique looking. It's deck got like four. a C3PO vibe in here. I like it. All right, so now we're in deck four. Deck four. Okay. You are the right location. This is the 
Thank you. Shark built the ship. We called it the Crown Jewel of Australia. That's the ship. Uh, so it's going to be grab and go through that gray arch. It's going to be all the food. There's trays in there so you can bring the food out to your table. Yeah. Thank you so You're much. You're so very welcome. All right. This place is pretty cool. So, We're a little hungry. We haven't eaten all yeah. day pretty much. So during lunchtime, I think it's all grab and go, which you can get a tray and then put all your stuff there and grab a seat and just enjoy your food. But later on, we actually have dinner reservation. Well, we do have a dinner reservation here at 8 o'clock. And that's included Where Guy is going to perform, which yeah. I'm really excited about. So let's get some food. I'm right over here we have sunflower butter and jelly look at that isn't that interesting looking we got pork and cheese takeaway with black spire spread and then the sorghum stew which is crawfish tails rice and yellow seed sticks and then right over here we have fire melted cheese takeaways red fruit soup dippers Ooh. looks like for lunch they have quite a bit of a selection here there's different things to choose from they have salads I believe they have vegan op options and they also have some pretty good like, I don't know, like melted cheese with soup, kind of like basil, mm -hmm. tomato soup on, <laughs> on earth. <laughs> That's what they have here. So first I'm gonna grab a tray. Ooh, look how nice, wow. interesting looking tray. Pretty unique. I'm gonna grab one too. I think I'm gonna get this first. It's the, the dip tip yip chicken. We have this over there at Galaxy's Edge in Batu. I'm gonna grab one of these. Ooh, that looks pretty good. There you go. So this is red cabbage here. That's very pretty. Oh, look at that. Put that right over here. <laughs> I got myself the nori crusted red fish. It's delicious. Look at that. I think I'm going to get an orange font from the planet of Fantasia. We're going to eat fast, but I'm pretty sure they have the same lunch for tomorrow. So we'll come back and give you a full review because we kind of came in late, but we're hungry and we don't want to miss the show over there. So. But so far, this redfish is delicious. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. And the tip yip is pretty good too. Mm -hmm. Chicken is very tender, juicy. It's pretty good. It kind of tastes like chicken tikka masala. <laughs> <laughs> I never ate so fast in my life. I know we scrubbed that so quick. <laughs> I'm noticing that you have like so much time frame. You want to do everything, so I'm guessing like you need to prioritize your time. Yeah, much you know better I mean? than we did. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's here. Yeah. <laughs> As soon as we got upstairs, the crew members were assigning us to our muster stations in case of any emergencies. <laughs> Hello, everyone! It looks like I have a pretty good impression! Wonderful! My name is Lincoln Mock. I am the cruise director of the Halcyon. And this is SK620. They are my right hand droid and very valuable member of our crew. Passengers, are you with me? Oh! Oh! That is the energy I love to hear. The captain of the Halcyon, Captain Keaton. Attention, this is a shipwide alert. Please report to your muster stations immediately. You see, in my time aboard this ship, outside of the drill, I have only known those lights to change twice. But I have never seen anything that this ship can't handle. Well, my uh -oh. friends, I would say it's time to begin this voyage. Don't There's you agree? Something's happening. <laughs> then, yeah. crew, let's get ready for our toast. Cool. Maybe a little crossword. The captain says there's nothing this ship can't handle. <laughs> I am Lieutenant Harmon Croy of the First Order. Ah. A star cruiser filled with passengers from anywhere <laughs> whose loyalties we do not know. I will be stationed aboard this ship for the duration of the voyage. Halcyon crew, let's pass out those drinks, please. We'll be oh, we got drinks coming. Ooh, I got you one. <laughs> so we can cheers. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> that 
That was fast. Man, that's pretty good. What, what's in this? No, it's like lemonade with like Passion a little bit of fruit. ginger. Right? Yeah. So that was a pretty good ceremony. We just jumped into light speed. Yes. That was a really we cool a effect. Predicament with the first order. I know so the first order is here. So. Them again. But for now, let's explore. <laughs> yeah. So this is the Chandrilla collection here. This is their store inside the Star Cruiser. I don't want everything, but <laughs> that's just not in the cards. So many cool things to look at here. They got lightsabers. They have some really cool Chandrilla Starline like merch. It's only exclusive here. You can only get it here. And uh, man, I'm very tempted to get one thing. So these are exclusive lightsabers that you can only get here on the Halcyon. I believe they give you two uh, per limit. They look so cool. I, if you're a Star Wars fan, you're totally gonna lose your mind. Ooh. We're gonna get one, right? I think I'm gonna go back to the cabin. I'm gonna change this because it's too hot. <laughs> This thing does not breathe. So ever since we made that jump to light speed, now we're in a different location. I wonder where we're at. I see an asteroid field though. Better be careful. So we did the lunch buffet. We did that already. We did the exploring the star cruiser. We did data pad orientation. And then we did the ship muster. So we did all that. Now what's next is the captain's reception. And we might have to do the lightsaber training because, come on. Who doesn't want to do that? It's crazy because we're, we're actually moving. Like This used to be all the way over here. Now it's this way. Uh, we're in a star cruiser. Did you not yeah. notice? <laughs> hey, where'd you get that? <laughs> wait, wait, you haven't even shown them. Wait, what? show them. Oh, you know. I... Yes, try them. Let us know. Yes. The Mexican sweet candy. Well, I think this Tamarindo. is sweet. Tamarindo. Yeah, Delicious. Mm. So I'm talking to Ray's Cole. Trying to get into the engineering room, but I think we have to do a little magic trickery there in order to get in there. We gotta hack it up. Yes. Can you find a console that looks like this? We got access granted on the data pad, so. Special credential code. Now we just have to come here and import the code that we got. So, do we do it? Oh, Gaia's gonna perform soon, guys. Ooh. Biggest superstar in the galaxy. Act this first. Yes. All right. <laughs> We got there we it. Go. We have unlocked it. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so we can go into the engineer room now, and the cargo hold is still locked, but we can hack that later and go in there. So we should be able to open this room right here. Engineering room. Let's go inside. Yeah. I don't even know where we're supposed to be in here, you know? Well, there's other people in here, so I guess it's fine. We're inside the engineering room of the Halcyon. Look at the detail in this place, guys. This is... <laughs> wow. This is awesome. Man, it would have been so cool if I could just see Han Solo and Chewie working on this ship. Oh, that would have been childhood dreams come true. So the data pad is telling us to connect the inputs. Input. And I'm guessing it's right over here because I see a bunch of inputs here that we probably have to connect in some way. Okay, so I got it. So right here, look. We're going to follow this up. And we're going to match here. I think we just have to follow the pipeline. This goes here. I think I got it. Yeah! <laughs> I'm figuring it out. I think it's a team effort. So this goes like this. Yes, we did it, everybody! Oh, we did it! We did it! We did it. We did it. <laughs> Right? There we go. I did, it. I did something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have to look for these signs. They're on the switches. There you go. You got one. One. You got the next one? Is it? Uh, found it. She got the second one. Do you do it at the same time? Well, you have to do it at the same time? All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> We're doing something. Okay, now they're all on. Look. And then watch yourself, Janelle. It's full. It's full? 
Yes. Let's release it. Oh. Whoa! Nice! You did it! Yeah! <laughs> What's in here? Is this a power core? What is going on in here? Oh, it is a power core. I was right. I was just guessing. But I was right. So these buttons must do something. These are lighting up. Look. Oh, okay. You're getting there. We got more power. Come on, let's raise it. On this side, on this side. All right, go ahead. All right, next side. Okay, Janelle, you, know, you got this. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes. Power core. Nicely done. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I think we should get out of the power core. It's a little dangerous in here. Control. Yeah. Fun and funny to actually do these interactive things. We have to work with things. each other. This is the fuel of the Halcyon. We're going to have to blend it. Let's blend the fuel. There you go. Fuel blended. Right. I just hate the fact that <laughs> our room is all the way in the back. Every time we have to get to our room, we have to like book We're it all the way the back there. Door, which I guess it's good, you know, in the You just way. don't want to open that door in space. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. You're going to have a pretty bad day. She's really getting into character. <laughs> I could go. It's chewy. <laughs> oh. yeah, I'm big. You can hide behind me. Where's the picture? Wait, wait, we need to know. I need, is that, does everyone have access, anyone, to the engineering room? Okay, so when we get there, if someone's gonna, okay. Yes. Okay, keep an eye out. Wait. You're looking forward, you need to look back. Chili! No, no, wait, 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 what? Go, 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 go. Just, uh, just, oh, no. just, oh, no. we're gonna, just, uh, oh, no. just say this out, we're gonna get in. Chris, first order. Go, Chewy, go, go, go! Just hang on a second. I'm a data analyst. Let me just try and analyze some data. What is your name? A uh, Ruby. A uh, Ruby. Uh, you wish a hollow scan. Are we doing that now? Yes. Well, then let's do that. Has it happened? It has. Excellent. I'm moving on. Oh no. A uh, Ruby, please stand aside. A uh, Ruby. <laughs> I am, you can lower that device, please. Oh, I'm not here for hollow scans, though, Ruby. You have to get to the Lieutenant. <laughs> Good job. Hey! That's my reputation on the line there. <laughs> Snacks here, look. So right over here on this side, you can get some free snacks if you're hungry. No, that's okay. Pretty cool. That's okay. Crispy cornbread sticks, and over here they have fish crackers, which we all know what they are. <laughs> but these are free. Kind of a little thirsty. We're gonna head into the Sublight Lounge and see what kind of awesome drinks this side of the galaxy has to offer. Milady. Thank you. There's also a table over there. You want to sit at a table? Oh, yeah, no? Yeah, this is fine. So the Sublight Lounge is a great place if you want to come and escape, get yourself a nice drink, and play some sabak with a few friends. This is random people in here just talking and chatting, and you could also learn how to play it here on the Halcyon. I don't think I have time to learn. <laughs> there's so much to do, but we decided to get a drink because if there's anything you know and I love, it's food. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a gorgeous looking drink. He said I don't need a, 
it's really cold, but I don't need a coat to drink it, so <laughs> that's good. Wow. <laughs> the stormtroopers? Oh no! <laughs> yeah. That's right. I gotta enjoy my drink here. I don't got time for no first order. Me either. So it's not like Oga's Cantina where there's just very limited room, very loud. No, there's actually a lot of room here. It's kind of more like a lounge. Yeah. We got ourselves a really tasty looking Ooh, drink nice here. Nice drink. Look at mine. Yeah. So pretty. <laughs> Those are really nice looking drinks, I'll tell you what. So I got myself the Hawk Icebreaker. It has vodka, it has lemon, and on top is vanilla lemon foam. foam and then a pretty sugar cane right on top. Look how pretty. Wow. Now let's drink it up. Come on. Mmm. Oh, that's refreshing and delicious. I can definitely taste the vodka, but there's a strong taste of lemon, which is really, really nice. And the vanilla right on top adds a little sweetness to the drink. I enjoy it. It's fun. Let's have a little bite of the sugar cane. Mm. So this is the Mark of the Huntress. It's bourbon and whiskey. It's got almond, lemon, and sparkling bubbles. It's a very pretty drink, too. All right, let's give it a try. It's got a nice taste of peach but the whiskey does come right after. So even though the, the peach kind of like lingers here, the whiskey is strong. So it's for the more adventurous type of person. It's a really good drink. It's very sweet. That whiskey, it's in there. It's very good. Oh, and I'm glad I got it. <laughs> we were hanging out with Chewy earlier and there's a lot of people who are gonna rat him out to the first order. I would just wanna make sure that that we don't rat him out. I will not tell anyone that Chewy is on board, right? You love Chewy. He loves you. I would never tell yeah, him. I ain't no snitch. He's Han Solo's boy and my boy. <laughs> Gotta be careful with those stormtroopers. No. They are something else. Something else. Guys, you see this fish here? Well, that's the brother. There's a little sister on the other side here. Let me take you. <laughs> She's right over here. See that? And together, they actually mix this tank here in the middle. See that tank back there? They mix that in the middle and they make the Silver Sea Martini, which is what we're gonna get next. The Silver Sea Martini comes right out of there. Now, passenger, you said you can handle the heat. Yes. I can handle the heat. All right, well, this is our lava extract straight from Mustafar. Now, I do recommend you take a sip of this beverage first to get your flavor profile and then add your heat to your own adventure level. You can add as much or as little as you want. However, I cannot take it out. Okay. All right, this should have <laughs> cooled down by now, so feel free. You can go ahead and use that to make a drink. Oh my gosh. And enjoy. Now I'm scared. And the brother and sister team fish duo pump this uh, straight into that tank, and then it comes right out in here. Okay, so this is the fiery Mustafarian, guys. Now this is served with lava extract, anejo tequila, mezcal, stone fruit, lime chili, and black salt. Very nice drink. Now this is $35, but wow. It's got a lot of great stuff, and it also has mezcal. I love mezcal, and you got some black salt right there on the rim. Now, the way that it tastes right now, it's not gonna be spicy. This is where this comes in. This is the fiery part of this drink. So once we put some in there, I can't take it out. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna try it out, see what it tastes like without the fieriness, and then I'll put some of this stuff in there. Wow, very earthy. I love mezcal. Mezcal always tastes delicious with some cheese. It gives you a little bit of that savoriness. That is a wonderful drink. Now, the salt, it seems like it does have a little bit of a kick, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some on. All right, so let's open this up right here. And the way it tastes now is good, but uh, let's add a little bit of that spiciness here. Oh my gosh, I think I put a little too much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I think I put in a little too much, but that's okay. I'm adventurous. <laughs> let's mix it up. Oh, I can feel my lips tingling already. Here we go. Cheers, my friends, from the Galactic Star Cruiser to Halcyon. I do like this drink. It's very earthy. It has a nice kick. I added some of that spiciness, and it is a little spicy. So if you, if you do not like that, I was just not adding this in. But uh, you know what? It's spiciness, but it's it's spicy, but it's flavorful, and it also adds a little bit of sweetness to it. It does work together. This is pretty good if you're here inside of the Sublight Lounge. 
get this, get this, add it in first, try it without it, and then add a little bit in, little by little. A little, and, not Yeah, like little by little, because you do not want to run out of here with a tongue on fire. We already have the first order here. That's the last thing you want, okay? You don't want to bring any attention to yourself. And I got myself a little flatbread. Look how little it is. <laughs> it's almost be like a little kid's pizza. <laughs> it's just supposed to be a, a snack because dinner is coming up. Dinner is coming up. It's so... just to hold you over until then. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, wait. Get this gooey cheese. Oh, it's the good cheese. Yep. Oh my God, when it stretches like that, you know you're getting the good stuff. Oh yeah. Dang, I should've gotten that. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Here we go. I have nothing bad to say about this. Usually, like, I'm very critical. We're, we're all critical, right? But yeah. it was really good. Like, I know, I wish it was bigger, though. That's the only thing, I guess. I wish it was, like, a bigger thing. But I guess they're little bites, so I understand. Yeah, because we're going to have dinner. You we don't want to be dinner, full for dinner. But I love the robust tomatoes. It's very earthy, too. You also have, like, the pe pepperoni, which is very, very juicy, full of, full of spices and flavors. I love it. I enjoy it. I just wish it was bigger because of how good it was. But other than that, it's delicious. Good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. It tastes just like like a passion fruit. Like if you want to take a passion fruit, you just went. Oh, just went. And add a little bit of gin and lemon. This is it right here. Yeah. Like, I'm not like I don't taste any of the alcohol, which it might be a little scary because you don't know how strong the drink is. But I'm fine with it because I love these types of drinks. They're so delicious. All right, so this is smoked cheese, white cheddar with bacon and jalapeno crusted in dried cheddar, black goat cheese crusted in pumpkin seeds, smoked gouda with crushed pistachios. Wow. All right. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. All right. I'm just gonna go for the full cheese. I'm just gonna go for the full cheese. Kind of tastes like gouda. What is this? No, no. That's blue cheese. Okay. Oh. That makes <laughs> I sense. Don't like blue cheese. You don't like blue cheese? No, you don't like blue cheese. Yeah, I don't like blue cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So right here, it looks like it kind of tastes like tomato. Sweet like tomato. What kind of cheese is this? Very creamy cheese. And it's wrapped around in pistachios and jalapeno. It's pretty good. It's really weird looking too. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me I, have some. You want to see? Here. Yes. Yeah. Have you pledged your loyalty to the First Order? That's good. You know what's crazy is I didn't know those snacks were complimentary. I, I should have known because it's kind of like a cruise. Yeah. But like for some reason we're like, wait, what? Yeah, they came included with our drinks. <laughs> That's really cool. You can order all the snacks you want if you want. But keep in that mind the good. alcoholic drinks are not included. So yes. you have to pay extra for those. Correct. So the alcoholic drinks are not included, but the snacks are. So if you want to get a drink and get yourself a snack, you can do that. They also have non-alcoholic drinks if you don't like to drink. All right, so we're going to have dinner service. An evening with Gaia is what's going to happen now. We're going to yes, meet I'm the excited. biggest superstar in the so galaxy. Much. Biggest star in the galaxy. Yeah, she's I'm gone excited. supernova. I'm, she's that big. She's very, very famous, obviously. But I'm really excited. It's delicious food I heard. And I think we should start heading out to the line right now. Let's, Let's go, go get our dinner. Let's go. All right, we're going into the dining room, the crown of the Corellia. My name is Nelson, and I have the honor of being your crew member you, tonight. Nelson. My pleasure. So to start us out, we have our Andorian dipping sauces here. Ooh, yum. This one here is gonna be our Batu spice. We have our Kadu cream, also our Mangalese yogurt and our barbecue. This is our flora noodle salad and then our spiral dumplings for Ooh. you lovely folks. Wow. So beautiful. with the green, we have our flora korma on my lovely home planet Araxis. Uh, it actually has some amazing hills and also grassland there. Wow. So we have plenty of great individuals that do agriculture there. And that's where you'd find this product. It's very right. earthy. Very cool. <laughs> exactly. Everyone on the ship just really gets into the story, guys. They're just really in it. And it, it really helps get you immersed in the whole story of the, Hal of the Halcyon. And uh, that's 
That's incredible. So these little guys are spiral dumplings. So you have your floral vegetables, your bantha beef, and your tippy of chicken. Beautiful, huh? Yeah. Look at that. Really nice. <laughs> Gonna have one of each. Wow. <laughs> one of each, you know? Yeah. And it comes with individual sauces here. So there's kadu cream, Milanese curry, batu spice, and barbecue style. So this one here is a flora noodle salad. Look how colorful that is. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's very pretty. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna have a little bit of that. There we go. And then I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna do the bantha beef first. I'm just gonna have it on itself like this. Almost like a barbecue, pulled pork kind of style dumpling, which is really nice. I'm gonna try the tippy of chicken. My favorite, probably. We'll see, because I haven't had to the flora vegetable yet. Very earthy, but a lot of spices. But it's like, it's not about the taste, it's more of the texture. It's very mushy. It's not my favorite. But I do love the tippy of chicken and the bantha beef. The bantha beef might be my favorite. I would say though that the dumpling, it is a little bit like the outside layer is a little bit stale, a little bit dry. Other than that, the inside filling is really delicious and has packed full of flavors. Just the four vegetables, it just tastes a little too smushy for me. The textures are a little off and that's just it. <laughs> I don't want to try these noodles right here. Mmm, kind of like chicken tikka masala, again. Just like the pita bread. And I'm gonna try it here with some of this. Let's see. Yeah, it tastes really good. I haven't tried it with the sauces yet, but I'm excited for them. That's really good. I think Gaia's about to come up, huh? Can't wait to hear your music. Wow. Oh my gosh. So here we have our seared bantha filet over tri colored potatoes. Ooh. That is gonna be our curried shrimp that has a lime and coconut foam. Yum. We have our fluffy green rice, our sabat flora, and the last one is our mango spiced tip. Wow. Ooh. That looks you good. Folks enjoy. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. My honor. Whoa. Now I'm trying to figure out how can I get this bantha meat back to our home planet? It's going to be very hard. That looks really delicious. You're going to have to become a smuggler, like Han Solo. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the late dinner. Ooh. <laughs> but there's just something about being a little later in the evening, isn't there? Uh -huh. yeah. Little energy, can you feel that? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've got the first order right behind uh, but me. I do think the crew here is absolutely top notch, right? Give them a hand. The crew is top of the house here. <laughs> an exquisitely talented accompanist. A remarkable musician.
That's not a sip! <laughs> it's a sip where I'm from. <laughs> Wani, I think it's time to cool things down a bit. got some of the best culinary experts, I'll tell you what. Listen, are you Disney foodie if you don't take pics, you know? All right, so right here we have the Jogan fruit and caramel whip with yuzu, passion fruit, and cordelia jelly, whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but Disney, they really know how to make a pre-dessert, that's for sure. Look at this. That's crazy. It's, it kind of reminds me of what uh, dessert they have in Pandora at uh, Animal Kingdom. It's very similar. Just the one over there is kind of like a light blue. This is purple. It's like the galaxy. <laughs> Gotta do it. Ooh, Ooh. all right. Let's try it out. So it's very creamy yet gelatinous. It falls apart in your mouth, really melts away, uh, and it has a nice taste of passion fruit. It almost reminds me of an orange push pop. Remember the old Fred <laughs> Flintstone ones? Kind of tastes like that. Really pretty. Let's see. It's kind of like coffee. It's mocha. So it kind of took me by surprise because we went from mm -hmm. something sweet to something that tastes like mocha. It kind of cleans up your palate a little bit. So when you go back to this, you're like, "Wow, what just happened?" That's pretty good. I do like this. This is pretty, pretty delicious. What is that? I don't know. Wait, wait. Is it a code? Sammy to get Chewbacca safely out of the hands of Lieutenant Croy and off the ship. SK-620 will provide a distraction that is one brave droid. Meet at 940 in the atrium. So no. I don't think we're supposed to show this to anyone. Oh. So to end our dinner, they gave us two little chocolates. Look how sparkly that looks. <laughs> one for you, one for one me. me. Alrighty. Back at Disneyland, they call these a kiss goodnight. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> mm. That's good. Tastes like raspberry. Now, it's citrusy. Where can I get a box of these? <laughs> Who would I speak to? The first order? No. Are they hogging them? No. I think they're hogging them. I think mm -hmm. Chewie's got them all. Probably. Ugh. What is happening? Well, looks like we're all out exploring the ship. Yeah. Hope we all find what we're looking for. Uh -huh. I hope so. Yeesh. One. So that note said be at the atrium at 940. It is now 940. Oh. We're searching for that SK droid. Why don't you tell us where it is? <laughs> oh my gosh, light speed! Where can we find the SK droid? No clue what you're talking about. Well, guess we'll leave it at that. Okay. Ooh. 
See, that's how you do it. That's how you do that's it. That's how you do it. Distracting them with that old light speed bit, huh? <laughs> yeah. There you go. There is something going on. Something's going on. I just don't know what. We got this letter. Oh, the stone tree was on you. The brakes empty. your name? Miguel. Miguel. <laughs> this is Miguel, everyone. Miguel, what did you find surprising today? What, what excited you today? Oh, a, a surprise. Gaia and dinner. <laughs> Gaia and dinner. Then here's, here's a salute to food and entertainment. <laughs> Tabuite! <laughs> To propose a toast to you, uh, to the beautiful gem in the compass that leads us all to our next adventure. Tabuite! Tabuite! Yeah. To Batu Adventures and to Stars Tabuite. that light our way. Tabuite! Tabuite! It. The controls of the Halcyon. This wow. Is fun. That is so cool. Let's go closer. It really looks like you're looking outside into space. And seeing it in video does it no justice. It really doesn't. Uh -uh. Like, I was kind of like spectacle, like, like it's just a TV screen, but it kind of like, it really looks like you're looking outside in space. It does. Yeah, in person, guys, if you were to see this here, it really looks like you're looking outside into space. I really like this. Oh my gosh. My breath is like This whole experience has been amazing. During right? my bridge training, I got to pull the hyperdrive. <laughs> it's like, I was so excited. I'm, I'm literally like a, like a 10 year old boy again getting to just dress up and do this whole thing, eat Star Wars food, like all of it. Right? The entertainment was really, Gaia was really good. She was really good, yeah. This has been so much fun. This is just, it's what a cool experience. Like it's hard to describe what it is because it's, it's everything and it's all around you yeah. all at once. You can't explain it. No. Yeah. We it tried, really, we couldn't. It, it's everywhere. The only thing we can say is so exciting. This is awesome, I, it, I love you, it. You kind of at a loss for words because it's just so much happening. Yeah. yeah. All at one, and you can't keep up. Exactly. You can't do it all either, that's the other. And it brings the, the kid out of all of us, right? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, the festivities are done for tonight, so we thought we'd grab some snacks and take them back to our cabin. All the snacks are free, so yeah, get your banana. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's about 3 a.m. in the morning. Man, I'm sitting in here. We didn't, as you can see, we didn't close the window. It's still shining through. You can close the window and make it extremely dark in here. I didn't do that. This cabin really makes me feel like a kid again. Like what kid hasn't been in their bedroom and has been like, this bedroom is a spaceship 
or this bedroom is an airplane. It almost feels like you're reliving that childhood. In this cabin, I'm in a spaceship. I'm on the Halcyon. I'm looking out into space. It's like, <laughs> I'm really thankful to be here. If I were to come back again, I would probably invite some friends so this could be a little bit cheaper. And not only that, I could share the experience with them because if you're a Star Wars fan, you're gonna love this. It's an immersive world. Everyone is in on it. Everyone is Star Wars and that's what it's all about. I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. Every day I'm just, it's, it's crawling into my feelings. And it's making me feel like I'm a part of this. And it feels like the whole cruise, we're all a team. That's what it feels like. It all it feels like we're all in this together. I'm telling you, if you're gonna do this, do it with someone you care about, do it with a friend, or do it with a loved one. I'm doing it here with Janelle. She's awesome, you know, and I love her very much. And it's really cool to do this with her because we're sharing this experience together. We both like Star Wars. I have the original trilogy in my heart. And doing this together is what's making it awesome. Not to mention, not just that, but I feel like Disney really put something together that, that works really well. There are a few tweaks that need to be made, yes. But overall, it's an awesome experience. And it's something that I've never done before. And I'm hoping in the future that, that Disney can find a way to do this in a, a more affordable way. So everyone can do it. You know what I mean? Um, so far, it's like, it's like reliving your childhood. It's pretty cool.